Y'all, things are real. Uh, today's Saturday. Christmas is in what? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four days, guys. I don't know where I fumbled the ball at the end of the year. I fumbled the ball. And I was about to feel some kind of way. But then I had to go back to my gratitude practice and find all the gratitude in it because I need to get it together. First of all, somewhere along the way, I got my pay periods mixed up. I'm a planner, so I plan out everything. I plan out how much I need to work, when I can take off. I plan all that stuff out in, conjun in conjunction with going on vacations, right? So... I mixed it all up so much so that when I turned in my timesheet HR turned it back to me and said that they had to take out 19 hours of vacation that I did not put down the reason why I didn't put 19 hours of vacation is because I thought I had the next week to make up vacation time I did not yeah so I end up having to use 19 hours of vacation time that was not planned for and that was around that was for around Thanksgiving fumble number one then as y'all know I went on vacation again I'm just getting back from vacation I went to Madrid I went to Vienna I went to Prague I went to London so I am just getting back and I said in my mind okay baby girl you going on vacation during the second week of a pay period boom you ain't got to take no vacation time you got your whole 80 hours in then I said for the next two weeks I come back on week one I can start making up time on that week one I even felt so confident in this plan that I took off Wednesday. I did not even go to work on Wednesday and I could have. Because I said, oh, you got, you got time. You can make this up. Y'all, so I went to work on Thursday and Friday. Why was I, when I was at work on Thursday, I looked at the calendar and it then dawned on me that week two of the pay period was freaking Christmas. Oh my God. I cannot make up time during Christmas because I got to still take off for Christmas and Christmas is a holiday so I was like girl girl so you can't even make that up either because you still got to take off then I said it's okay because you got another trick up your sleeve you have 40 hours of training time that you did not use so with my company, they give us training time. Shout out. Some of you may remember I went to Vegas and went to a conference in Vegas using training money and a little bit of training time. So I had the remainder of my training time plus the balance of the training time money that they convert to training time to use for the holidays. But here's the problem. In order to do that, you have to put in a request to use your training hours. No problem. I can put in my request. But here's the problem. The request has to be put in 10 business days before you intend to use it. Y'all, there's not even 10 business days left in the year. So being the lucky, blessed person that I am, I said, well, I'm just going to put in for it anyway and maybe they'll approve it. So I put in for it and it was like, no, ma'am. The last day to put in for training hours was December 5th. Where was I December 15th? Somewhere in Prague. So basically, at the end of the year of 2019, I lost 40 hours of paid time off. Well, I could have stayed at home and did online training. Lost 40 hours in that opportunity. 40 hours that I had planned to use over my Christmas holiday. No longer there. So now, I have to use regular vacation time. And now, I have to work more days than I had originally planned on working. Meaning, I have to work Christmas Eve now to make this work. 
and I have to work on Friday. So Christmas is Wednesday. So now I'm going to take off on Wednesday. I'm going to take off on Thursday, but I have to come back and be back to work on Friday. That was not part of the original game plan, y'all. <sighs> but here is what I am grateful for. I am grateful that I am a planner for the, for the most part. I'm a spontaneous planner. So I'm grateful that because I lived a disciplined year that I still have 78 hours of vacation time. It has always been my intention to carry over at least 40 hours a full week into the new year. That way I get seven hours, seven weeks of vacation. I carry over a week that gives me eight weeks. So I said, okay, 78 hours. That meant that I had at least 38 hours that I can use between this week, this week that just passed that I was playing games and next week. So we're making this work. And I love the fact that, A, I do get a lot of vacation time. I love that I work for companies that are super flexible and they do things like let me come in on the weekend. Shout out, today is Saturday. I was at work today. I'm going to work tomorrow. I work five, five hours today. I'm going to work five hours tomorrow. Yeah, but guys, the struggle is super real. It's super real because... Christmas is next week and like you, I said we just discovered this a few days ago so right now I'm on my way to go try to get some Christmas shopping in because I ain't got none of that done I ain't got I need to I guess wrap stuff I guess I need gift bags or something to put gifts in I gotta figure out all of that stuff and this here I I have been getting by with this hair forever I have to take this hair out and it's super hard because I'm not gonna have time to get a hair appointment because hello I gotta work and I asked my mom if she could help me so she's willing to help me but remember I'm only gonna be down in Virginia Beach for two days Christmas and then in the day after Christmas so somewhere in between there we got to figure this out and hopefully we can get my hair in a presentable enough state that I can be presentable when I go to Miami for New Year's. I'm flying out on the 31st of December to go spend New Year's with Jay. The struggle is real. Also, I ain't did none of my end of the year stuff. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, what was I thinking? We had another month. I don't know what I was thinking. I did not do my end of the year dental appointment. I need to do that. Otherwise, that's leaving money on the table because that's a benefit. You know, you can get your teeth cleaned twice a year. I do my end of the year eye exams. That's leaving money on the table because y'all know I got contacts and glasses. That's stuff that I need. I didn't do an end of the year physical period. I don't think I went to the doctors all year this year. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I think I went last year. So, um, I'm slipping, guys, and I'm still going to try to get it in. I'm going to still try to make appointments in this last little week. So, I don't know how any of this is going to turn out. But all I know is I'm going to do much better next year because now that I've realized how easy it is to forget to turn in training requests, I'm going to use my 40 hours of training time. I'm going to use those up first so next year in 2020 before I use my regular PTO I'm gonna strategically look to see where I can start putting in my request for my training hours once I deplete that bucket empty that bucket I will then start using up my regular paid time off and then I'm just gonna be on it better better than I have been and I was pretty good all year it's just this last month time just got away from me and I do say a, some of that maybe a lot of that is due to vacations when you have an intense vacation schedule you gotta realize that there's gonna be so I'm supposed to go that way you got to realize that there's going to be so much that you're going to try to fit in to make that schedule work. You know, you, 
Yeah, y'all. Oh, wait. Can I go straight? Wait, what am I doing? Okay, let me just make a turn around. Because I'm just doing the most right now. All right, y'all. That's what I wanted to come up here and let y'all know. Your girl left money. Money, money, money. Money and time on the table this year. And, um, and she got to do better. So until the next time we meet again until the next time we sit down and chat don't forget to thumbs up hold on while i make this turn hold on i make the slowest turn ever <laughs> don't forget to let me pay attention don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment should i turn right here oh shit I don't think this was my turn. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a family member of the Fun and Budget Act. Until next time, y'all. Let me get my life together because I'm making all the wrong turns. I'm still messing it all up. All right. Peace. Peace.